Hello everyone, Genesis Writer here with vlog number four. Today I'll be going over some things on how my channel relates to my life and how my life relates to my channel in terms of current events actually going on. I need to explain some of these things to you guys because I want you guys to understand where my channel is going and um, how much I'll be getting online on Xbox Live in the near future and how much I'll be streaming and things of that nature. Now, do not worry. Um, the promise of at least one video a week will always stay true. That's my goal right now. That's what I say at the beginning and now at the end of all my videos is that I'll upload at least one video a week. And I intend to keep to that goal pretty heavily. But I do have some explanation to give you guys as to what's been going on in my life um, in two days. So um, in two days, I start summer college courses at my local community college. Now, I am 21 years old, so let me back up and share a little bit of my previous life so you understand how I got to this point. Now, this is not meant to bore you, but it adds extremely important contextual significance to the statements I'm about to make and will help you understand and identify with the very hard position I'm in right now, or sort of mentally the hard position. Um, I need to explain it with context here. So uh, a little over a year ago, I believe, it, last summer basically, um, I was attending Letourneau University. Up until that point, I had been homeschooled my entire life, and then I had moved on from homeschool and high school to community college courses, taking dual credit. So you can actually take dual credit courses at a, your community college, and they'll count for as high school courses. For example, I took Spanish 1 and 2. And they counted both for high school and for college. It saves on time, and community colleges are typically cheaper, so it also saves on a lot of money. So I got like 60 plus credit hours doing that. I also worked as a IT student worker out at that um, community college um, next to my house, and so that was really good. And then from there, I transferred all of those hours to Laterno University here in Texas, and I um, I started pursuing the computer science degree. Now, the main reason I started doing this is because that literally was the only thing up until this point in my life that I had drawn any sort of, yeah, I might want to do this from. I sincerely have and still do have literally no idea how public school or just schooling in general is supposed to make you understand what where you're supposed to go with your life and what you're supposed to do. I, I find that, um, how do you put this, the falsehood around the idea that you will go to school and figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life and then go to college and then that's how it perfectly turns out is false, and it's it, that's basically the reality that hit me. Um, a few, I think it was like two, three or four semesters into my um, spree at Laterno University, pursuing the computer science degree, I finally realized that literally everyone around me who was computer, who was pursuing the computer science degree, had had vast amounts of experience with. Um, coding languages up to that point. Computer science degree requires an extensive amount of coding. So they had had experience with Visual Basic, C++, Java, and others, just to say a few. And I was jumping into literally all this stuff brand new, having brought up, been brought up on Mac computers my entire life. Now, I love Mac computers, but um, and you can code on them too, for sure. And I'm sure there's classes and jobs that will get you into stuff with them as well. But I simply had none of the experience. Th these people had been coding since they were little. Okay, They had just been opening up programming and screwing around with it literally for fun. Okay, And I never, I never do that. I'm extremely focused in my interests. And I don't want to say that I, I spent time when I was younger on things that weren't worthwhile. But I didn't spend, times, spend time on things I didn't want to be doing. Okay, I, I did the amount of work necessary to complete it and get a good grade, and that's it. Because most, if not all, of my school at this point, besides reading when I was um, in homeschool, and there's a, there's a few other very brief moments of brilliance throughout my schooling. Besides those, 
literally school has not interested me, me at all. So I reached that point, and I, um, one of the hardest days of my life, I had to uh, call back home to my mom and dad and say, hey, look, you know, I can't do this. Um, that was really tough. And I, I'm mainly saying all this because my parents were very graceful towards me in this specific area, and a lot of people were, but because they realized where I was. They realized I was um, extremely unhappy and that I hated what I was doing to a point I really cannot even begin to describe how much I hated it. Um, and it wasn't due to the schooling of the professors or anything of that nature, but they realized that. And so eventually I ended up back home um, and eventually after working a few different jobs and realizing that I'm not going to be able to um, make it out on my own with you know making just nine dollars an hour at a 40 hour a week job um, I am going to be attempting um, two days from now via some via some summer classes and obviously continued schooling in the fall and continued semesters to be pursuing a degree as an instrument technician. Now, there are multiple reasons for this, okay, or reasons that I hope will play out to my benefit in the future. Um, I want to pursue a degree that doesn't take an extraordinarily long time to get. This degree takes like two years, okay, and um, a company that we are, a chemical company that we are living near is literally hiring these people and sometimes even paying for their schooling outright, okay because they're so desperate for these instrument technician positions. I have talked with another person who I respect, who is going for the same degree, and it seems like something that I can do. It doesn't seem like it's going to take an extraordinary amount of time, um, and it seems like it's going to be more hands-on, and it's going to be less book reading. Is the ba I, I love reading books, but... Um, I just about want to kill myself when I have to read read something for an extensive amount of time that I'm just so not interested in. It's not even remotely funny. Um, some of my, this is going to sound really dumb, but some of my Bible classes out at Laterna University were seriously some of the biggest wastes of my time. I, I, I don't even know. That's a tangent. But um, anyway, um, moving back here, I hope that um, as we wrap up to the end of this video here, I hope that this instrument technician degree, I'm going to be taking two classes in the summer, and the, these courses are extremely concentrated, and they have a lot of material in one go. And so I'm going to be having to spend the majority of my time on this, and I'm not going to be able to do things like catch up on my YouTube inbox or um, subscription box. Um, I don't watch TV, so that's a huge um, time saver right there. But there's a lot of things I do, whether it's gaming or reading or watching videos or keeping up with the latest video game news or TV or movie news or whatever it is that I'm just not going to be able to do um, as much of. Okay, now I will be continuing to put out one video a week, but all of this to say is that this is where I am. I need to I need to get out on my own as a 21 year old and while I am pulling my weight with several of the bills and things of that nature and paying my way through various things um, these goals are things I have to accomplish um, this is not an option this is something where I'm going to have to put several things on hold and of course I'll be playing Destiny and Halo 5 Guardians but um, in uh, specifically at Turner University there is this point of desperation I, I reached where I, I couldn't care less if I was wasting time on a game or wasting time on watching YouTube videos because I hated school that much. And with what I'm doing right now, um, the avenue I'm pursuing, I've already, re not failed, but I've already, I've already had my first shot. This is my second shot, and I really have to give it my all. And so I want, to, I want you guys to be aware of that. I want to be open and honest about that. And... Um, you know, whatever support you can give is great. I'm not expecting you to, um, you know, stay subscribed if I don't put out at least a video a week. What I'm expecting you to do is have some kind of understanding as to where this channel is going and just how realistic my life actually is. It's not just gaming or 
just YouTube. So guys, I hope this video like, gave you some understanding as to this, uh, why I put out this video and, and everything. I hope it gave you an insight into my life. Unfortunately, a more uh, kind of a darker time. I hope in the future, maybe two years from now, I can say, wow, I'm done with that. Thank goodness, you know, I'm out on my own and I can do whatever I want to do and that sort of thing. But this gameplay in the background was, I believe it's like a 43 and 6, getting mostly fuel rod kills. I uploaded another gameplay where I go over this the meltdown gameplay with the fuel rod in detail. You can check out the top right hand corner annotation for that gameplay. Um, and uh, I didn't want to upload this gameplay as a tips and tricks video because it just had so many kills with the fuel rod and, you know, it's just me running around the tunnels. So guys, um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Carry the fire. Peace.